Earlier, we mentioned the WIS Politics election blog, which has a county by county breakdown of the presidential results from this year, four years ago, and eight years ago. The move of Wisconsin voters to the right during that time is pretty stunning. Let's take Brown County, for instance. It's often looked at as a swing county. Four years ago, Mitt Romney won there, but barely over President Obama. Romney got about 51% of the vote. Donald Trump got nearly 56%, about five points better. Four years ago, Obama beat Romney in Winnebago County. Romney got 48% of the vote. Tuesday, Trump got 54, a nearly 6% improvement. And in rural Price County, a county Obama won by less than a handful of votes four years ago, it wasn't even close. Trump got 63% of the votes, a 13-point improvement. But beyond that, races that were supposed to be competitive weren't. Republican Mike Gallagher walloped Democrat Tom Nelson in the 8th Congressional District. The race for the open 18th District State Senate seat saw Republican Dan Fine win a surprisingly easy victory. Tuesday also saw incumbent Democratic Senator Julie Lassa lose her seat in the Stevens Point area. And in La Crosse, Senate Minority Leader Jennifer Schilling may face a recount after a razor-thin victory. For Democrats, the news could not have been any worse. So was it simply a Republican wave supercharged by Donald Trump? Or is there something bigger and deeper going on here? Are we losing our purple state status? We'll get our first answer two years from now. And if you want to take a closer look at the WIS Politics Elections Breakdown, you can find a link to it on our website, WISN.com. Just go to the menu and click on the upfront icon. Thanks for being with us today. I'm Mike Goucher, and I'll see you again next week on Upfront.